Hello everyone, so today we'll be making a lucky block in Minecraft using mCreator. And in this project, we'll have a block where you break it and it will either give you one of two options. You'll get a diamond armor set or a diamond sword with a TNT depending on a random number. So let's begin making this project. So now I'll be showing you a demo of the lucky block. So what's going to happen first is I'm going to take out a lucky block from my inventory and I'm going to place it on the grass. So let's begin. I'm going to press E, type in lucky, and then I'm going to take out the block and place it here. So once I have this block, I'm going to place it on the grass over here. So I'll place one here, place one over here, one over here, and then another one here. So I've placed four on the grass over here. So what's going to happen is it's going to randomly pick a number from zero to one. So if it's bigger than 0 0.5, then it's going to say it's more than 50%. Otherwise, if it's less than 0 0.5, it's going to say it's less than 50%. So the items that I'll get is a diamond sword and a TNT, or I'll get a diamond armor set, which includes a diamond helmet, a diamond leggings, and diamond chestplate. So right now, I'm going to remove this by using clear. I'm just going to use my hand. I'm going to break these. So here. As you see in the chat, it says that I have an armor and TNT, and it says more than 50%. Now I'll just remove this, and then let me break this. So I got a number that's bigger than 0 0.5. I'll break this here. Again, I get the same thing, bigger than 0 0.5. If I break this, now it says it's lower than 0 0.5. And you can see here, I get my diamond armor set. So I get all these items, and then I'll break the last one. So this is bigger than 0 0.5 more than 50%. So this is how the random block is going to be made. And we can choose whatever we want to add in the boxes. We'll be beginning our project. So first open your Google Chrome or Safari window and head to pixelart.com and start a new drawing. Once you're there, make sure that you change your height to 60 and your width to 60. Then click on new drawing over here and then click okay. Once you're on the canvas, you can start drawing your lucky block. So what I like to do is I like to use the square tool. And then I click on any color over here, which I want. So say I pick on blue, I can just make a little square here. And then I can see that I've taken one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna take the same amount of space here. Then I will do the same thing here. So it can depend on how you want it. If you think you don't like it, you can remove it like this with the eraser tool. And then just select another color. So I'm going to maybe use red. And then you can use a paint tool and color it inside. So maybe I'll pick this color. And then for this, you can pick any other color you like. So there, this is my lucky block. And then if you wanna write some sort of writing, you can do the same. You can go select a color, maybe this. And uh, I think I'll just write a simple high. Next, I want to download this image, click on download, and then I click on download PNG. So that's saved to my computer over here. So in the next part, I want to open my M creator and start making my lucky block. So now that my M creator is open, I want to start making my lucky block. I click on plus, and then I click over here at blocks. Then I'm going to call this lucky block, and then create a new block. Now I'm created at this stage to add in the image for my block. So here I can click on bottom main. And then here I can click import. So once I click that, it shows me a window as to where do I want to get the image from. Click open. And if there's a file that already exists with the same file name, I can just change this to lucky block drawn. Click OK. 
And then I have it here. I can click on this and I've selected it here. And I can do the same for this, this, this here, this here, and this here again. So once that's done, I won't have to edit anything here. I can go to properties. I can leave this alone. Same thing for advanced properties. Same thing for tile entity. Same thing for the energy and fluid storage. And then triggers. Now triggers is where I want to run a procedure. I'm going to run it under the part where the block is destroyed by the player. So here I'm going to click on plus. And this is going to be called lucky block block destroyed by player. And then I click on create procedure. So right now, what I want to do is I want to click and use a variable. So over here, it says local variables. I can click on plus. I can change this to a number. And I'm going to call this random. Click OK. So now I have a block here that says custom variables. I'm going to click on it, take out set local random. And then here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the math block. And then we have random 0, 1. So what this does is it picks a random number between 0 and 1. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a conditional. So that will be under the flow control here. And I'll take out a if then else. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on a logic block and I should be able to find the more than. So I'm going to click on this. And then here is the more than block. I'm going to place this here. Now what I want to do in this part is I want to get the information of what the number is in random. To do that, I'm going to click on my custom variable and I'm going to use get local random. This block will help me get the information. Now I want to check if the number is higher than a 0 0.5. So I'm going to click on math, take out the zero block here, put it inside, and change this to 0 0.5. After that's done, I can now spawn in anything I like here. I'm going to click on world management. Then we're going to find a block that says spawn gem. So I'm going to take this out, place this here, and make a copy, and then another copy. So here, and here, and then one more here. So now what I'm going to add inside is this here. I'm going to add in a sword. So I'll click on a diamond sword. I want to give the diamond sword to the player if when they break the block, it's bigger. The number picked is bigger than 0 0.5. And then here, if the number is smaller than that, then I just want to give them a TNT. Or instead, if you want, you can give them a armor set. So you can put in diamond. Then you'll see here the helmet. So what happens here is when you break the block, if the number you get is bigger than 0 0.5, you'll be given a sword. But when you break the block and that number is smaller than 0 0.5, then you'll be given the armor set of a helmet chest plate and leggings. And we can even add in a message here. So you can have this send message, and then put these two blocks here and add in another bunch of blocks here. So you can say here, you get a diamond. And then this, you can say higher than 50%. Here you can say you get a diamond armor set. And then here you can say lower than 50%. And that is our procedure. And then we can save this here. So once that's in here, when you break the block, this is what will happen. Then we'll click save mod. So right now we have our procedure and then we have our blocks. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when we test out the project. 
Once that's done, you wait for this console to load. You can monitor the procedure here and then wait for it to load here. And then once that's done, you can open it by clicking on play. And then you can click back on console to monitor how it's running. And then we'll wait for Minecraft to load up. After Minecraft is loaded, you can click on single player. And then I'll just delete this and start a new world. Make sure you're in creative mode. Click on create new world. So once we're here, we'll begin by going to a plane area. We'll click on E and then click on search items and find our lucky block. So I'm going to place it here. So one, two, three, and then four. Hello, piggy. And then four over here. So we have these four blocks, and then we have a pig. So the pig will be roaming around while we break these blocks. So let's begin. So break one. We got lower than 50. We got a diamond armor set. OK, nice. So I'll just clear everything inside, slash clear. And now let's break the second one. Again, we get a diamond armor set. So this time it's still less than 50%. So let's try clearing it again. Let's break this. So we got not higher than 50, we got a sword, right? Let's break the last one, we get another sword. So it just depends on what number is picked. And depending on that, you get these items inside. So higher than 50, we get a sword. Lower than 50%, we get a diamond sword. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to First Code Academy on YouTube for more fun filled tutorials such as Scratch, Minecraft, Roblox, and web programming, and more. Thank you. Bye bye.